Um, apparently this is what he's wearing right now. He says um, just some sweats and a t-shirt for easy access. And he's, uh, there he is. Reese just pulled in with a busted out window in the back. He's right there. He's got that hood shirt. Yeah. What are you doing in the store? I'm shopping for my daughter. Shopping for your daughter. But I, somebody took my, has my pictures and has access to my account then because I don't use KIK. You don't use KIK. Kick. Whatever, okay. whatever you called it. He talks about, you know, coming over, visiting her. And these messages are from me. And he says they're not from him, but, you know, he, he's here, so. Hey, do you want early access to videos like this? Lesson learned. I'm not, get off everything, don't do anything, don't even think about it. Gotcha. Because it keeps him behind in the bathroom. Right. That's the thought process now, first time okay. trying anything, and skeets in the bathroom. And, and so. then, yeah, then you get skeeted. So. Yeah, get skeeted. Or like this. We are approaching Bill's house right now. This guy's been talking to the decoy for over a year. Especially when you said, let me come all in that little yes. blank and I'll buy you the plan B pill so you don't get pregnant. And I was, I've never bought the plan B pill. Right now, these videos and more are only available on my locals. And for only five buckaroos a month, you can watch them. That's right, for the price of only one pumpkin spice latte a month, you can watch these videos and support the skeet team in catching these predators. Now that I've got all my e-bagging out of the way, hope you enjoy the video. Don't you hate when you're out shopping at Walmart for a new pair of Crocs and someone walks up to you and accuses you of being there to meet a 13 year old girl? Well, you're not alone because Reese here absolutely despises when that happens. You can tell by his open mouth and dumbfounded demeanor that he was completely caught off guard. In such situations, one might throw their baby mama under the bus and blame the whole thing on them. I mean, it could, so I've been having issues with my girlfriend. She's a baby mom. You know, we have the, the baby mama. The baby mama so you have some baby mama drama, um, okay. And she's been out for me, honestly. I don't even get to see okay. my kids very often. Okay. Um, I don't know about you, but it sounds like a load of horse to me. And there's plenty of it to go around throughout this entire interaction. And after the confrontation, the Canton Police Department is called up to Walmart to address the situation. Reese is a character who speaks for himself, so I'll let him tell his story. But first, let's take a look at his chat log. Reese comes across our decoy account in a kick chat room and kicks off the conversation with W. Riz, as the younger generation calls it. Hey, I'm Reese, but the ladies call me Reesey. Oh, hey, what's up? I'm only 13, by the way. Hope that's chill. Wow, wasn't expecting you to be that young. Nothing illegal about being friends, though. <laughs> okay, cool. What are you looking for on here? Just a cool friend. What about you? I'm looking for a cool friend, too, that I can also f***. <laughs> LOL, you're bad. Reese reaches out to the decoy again around the Halloween season. So, did you dress up for Halloween? Yeah, I'm a cop, LOL. Damn, that's hot. You should handcuff me sometime. <laughs> LOL, okay, I can do that. Here's a picture of my dick. Oh, dang! Reese said a lot more and sent a lot more pictures and videos of himself to the decoy. It's a little too hot for YouTube, so he can't display it on here, but just know that it's very X-rated. And without further ado, let's get into today's dose of Predator Pasta. This Reese character was one of the more interesting Predators I've had the opportunity of interviewing. I mean, he came up with this lie and he stuck with the lie the whole time. You know, Reese came up with the act and he committed to the act. And, um, you know, for that, I, I've got to give him credit. 
you know it was it was impressive usually i'm able to crack these guys and get them to stop lying but not with reese he was uh he was committed now he mentioned that he did get caught up doing something like this before we weren't sure exactly what but because of that we thought that reese would be really careful about getting caught but uh, that, that wasn't the case. It, it, was, it was pretty easy. I mean, he pretty much just drove to the Walmart, went inside and said, hey, I'm inside. And, you know, we, we found him there inside. Couldn't have been easier, really. You know, I usually have the best time interviewing the ones that lie all the time, honestly. It's like I'm hitting them with, you know, these logical facts. And I just sit back and wait to hear what the next lie is going to be. It's it's fairly entertaining, honestly. If I had to describe Reese in three words, I would choose adventurous, dirty, and Riz Lord. His Riz was out of this world. I mean, you know, I was reading through the chat logs and, you know, I was like, whoa, th this guy saucing me up, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, I almost don't even want to catch him. But, I, I mean, not really. Of course I want to catch him, but, you know, his, his Riz was just on point. And he was really dirty. I mean, really dirty. Like, you could see, like, the dirt on his hands in between his fingernails. And his hat, like, the, the part in between the brim and, like, the cap was, like, filthy. Just extremely dirty. I, I would be surprised if Reese takes regular showers. I mean, he's just, he's, he's just so filthy. It's, it's, it's kind of gross. He had first reached out to the decoy profile uh, sometime last year in October. And uh, we just now caught him recently in the month of July, I believe it was. End of June, beginning of July, something like that. So it was a while in the making, but all worth it in the end. After chatting it up for so long, it was finally time to meet Reese. So we got everything together, you know, got in the car, and we headed back over to the good old reliable Canton Walmart, where we have caught many alleged predators in the past. You know, it's, it seems to be just the, the predator meetup spot, if you will. What up, boys? It's your boy, Skeet Hansen, back at it. We are throwing it way back to 2022 as you can see here we are at the walmart here we have chased many many predators out of this walmart here in canton on uh, ford road and right now in just a little bit here we're supposed to be meeting our um, potential predator here his name is uh reese yeah, so got a picture of him with a you know with the tongue out here we have the discord moderator incel beard going on you know the neck beard and of course an amber alert mustache there um, apparently this is what he's wearing right now. He says, um, just some sweats and a t-shirt for easy access. And he's, uh, he thinks he's meeting a 13 year old girl. So, you know, he said some questionable things in this conversation. Um, he did send, you know, pictures of his p this girl. And, um, right now he thinks he's meeting, you know, in the shoe section to, you know, meet this, this 13 year old girl. Now, mind you, he does have two kids of his own. So we're going to see what's popping with Reese here and hopefully get Canton PD down here to, you know, address the situation. Gonna go ahead and check in with the decoy here right now. There he is. Reese just pulled in with a busted out window in the back. He's right there. He's got that hood insurance. Bro. Yeah, the hood insurance. Holy sh! Look at this. Get the zoom. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go with the decoy now. Let's give it like probably two minutes or so until we get the confirmation that he's. He's parked over there. Did you see him park? Oh wait. There's no way. I lost him. Wait, wait, okay, here he is. Wait. I think that's him right there. Yeah. That look, yeah, I see the busted up window. Yep, just part. He parked on, uh, parts on grocery side. Got the shot. Got the shot, bitch. I was communicating with my decoy, who was directly communicating with Reese. We got word that he was in the Walmart in the shoe section. Right now we're heading into the Walmart here. Um, Reese should be meeting us in the shoe section right here. Our security guard Chet has a, uh, a chair right here for him to uh, sit in. So uh, we want him to be nice and comfortable. He does have a messed up leg. We've heard he's had a messed up leg and uh, we just want this guy, Reese, to be comfortable, you know? Just want to have 
Yeah, that's it. So we should be in the shoe section right now, on the phone, the decoy looking for her. Okay, we're walking in still. Um, he's definitely not in his car, so let's 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 wait. Let's wait it out right here till we can confirm that he's yeah blue, blue shirt and uh, you know sweats. Whoa. Okay, she said. Okay, she thinks he's in shoes. Let's let's go ahead. Reese is in the store. It's go time, baby. <laughs> Seriously, the, these are the moments I live for. I mean, there's there's nothing like catching an EDP in 4K. You know what I mean? Going to the shoe section right now. Okay, confirmed he's in shoes. Excuse me, sir, where's your shoe section? Shoes? Yeah. Sorry, I mean, but I believe that they should be um, somewhere that way. Somewhere that way? Okay, yeah. we'll find it, thank you. Have a good day, sir. You too, thanks for your help. We're walking through the store, getting closer and closer to Reese's precise location. You know, my, my heart is just pounding with adrenaline. It's a very intense moment. The shoe section be this way, miss. Huh? Oh, we found it. How you doing, sir? Predatory investigation unit. Are you here for the sex offender 11s, or? I'm sorry? What are you doing in the store? And there he was, my knight in shining armor, Reese. I'm shopping for my daughter. Shopping for your daughter. So you have kids and you're here to meet a 13-year-old girl, is it? A 13-year-old girl? Yes, sir, this would be your picture, right? Your uh, Reese? Uh, yeah. Yeah. And um, looks like for some time now you've been having a sexually charged conversation with the girl that told you she's uh, 13. Does that uh, sound no. about sound no. about no? Absolutely not. So let's see. This wasn't wouldn't be your kick profile, Reese G. I haven't been on kick in years. Years. So well, it looks like you were just on it um, on October 29th of 2022, and then again most recently, uh, just a few days ago. And you were talking to this girl. She says that um, she's 13, right there. You say, wasn't expecting you to be that young. And then here you say, there's nothing illegal about being friends. And that's true, Reese, but what is illegal is sending um, you know, pictures like this, this, this to a 13 year old girl. I don't, I don't know how anybody got these pictures. These were pictures that I sent to my girlfriend on Snapchat. These? Yes, I sent those to my girlfriend. Okay. I swear to God, dude. Okay. So this wouldn't be your penis? It, I just told you, these are my pictures that I sent Hang to my girlfriend. Okay, so these are yours, just so yes. I would straight. Okay. But now, Reese, do me for do you want to just have a seat no, right here? I need to get we a can lawyer. Just, I'm going to call my Oh, okay. Now. Yeah, you can call him. We can call the cops, and, too. And we'll call the police, I'm since it's not you. I'm going to call my That is me. Yeah. Okay, we'll just call the police, then. We'll get we'll get him over here. For what? We do have him on standby, anyway. Okay, but for what? Oh, this I, is this is illegal. I understand, that. I understand that, but I somebody took my has my pictures and has access to my account, then, because I don't use KIK. You don't use Kick. Kick. Whatever, okay. Whatever you called it. Well, here she sent you a picture of her Halloween costume, and she said she's a cop, and you say that it was cute. So now, all of a sudden, you don't seem too fond of cops. Why is that? Because what I don't yeah, understand is, I don't know how anybody got these pictures. Okay. Other than my girlfriend. Well, just help me understand before we get the police in, but just so I know that, you know, it's a big mix-up, I just want to be sure. And... Yeah, we don't want to... It's not a mix-up. Yeah. I just don't understand where these okay. pictures came from. So, so on, on my end, it's a mix-up. Now, Reese, what I have here is these messages okay. and evidence of you saying that you're going to be in this Walmart, at this part of the Walmart, to meet a 13-year-old girl. And here you are. That's what I've got here. Now, your story doesn't make that much sense. I, I under completely understand that. You understand how it doesn't make of a whole course, lot of, of sense. Course. Yeah, but look, I, so, I just don't understand... Well, help me understand, Reese. If someone has access to your pictures, and they clearly know where you're going to be, right? So whoever this 13-year-old girl was talking to knew where you were going to be. Knew where you were going to be because you're here. Right. So how did they know that? I have no idea. Uh, Snapchat has location, and there's people that can access all that. Snapchat, Snapchat has location. Yeah, KK. So KK someone has, did someone hack your Snapchat? Or probably. I mean, I've okay. had issues with Facebook, okay. KK, and Snapchat. So that already. means you're. So that would mean you're not logged into your Snapchat currently. I. I mean, I am. But 
But I thought you said someone hacked into it. Right, you can have, I've, I have a buddy who's a hacker anyway, and he's he has okay. access to, you know, his girlfriend's account while she's logged in. Oh, so two people like, can be logged into one account. Yeah, of course, absolutely. Okay, so and currently you have your location on on Snapchat. It's on Snapchat. Your location's on currently? Yeah. Can, can you have, can you show me that? I mean, yeah. That it's on? Yeah. Okay. I have my, I mean, my location services And those for, are your two, your two children? Yeah. Okay. I have my location services are yeah. on all, like, all the time. Okay, for, but on, for, sna you, on Snapchat, you have to specifically be in a certain mode to do it. Oh, that was a Snapchat app right down, yeah, right there. So if you go to your profile on Snapchat, you're going to want to go back. It's a, you have used Snapchat before, right, Reese? You were I'm sending just, the girl pictures from your Snapchat, so. Okay. What do we have? It looks like... Does it looks like you were, yeah, it's like you're in ghost mode. I have no so, idea what that even is. Well, you had your location also. How did someone know your location? I have no idea. It was talking to this girl. I have no idea. So let me get this straight. It wasn't you talking and to this girl sexually and sending these pictures? Absolutely not. No. Okay. And you say you're a, you're a maintenance supervisor for a mobile home community? I was. I was. You, I, oh, I back, in, uh, back in October. Well, what do you do was, for a little? I, I drive for Amazon. You drive for Amazon now? Okay. So whoever was having this conversation, if they weren't you, they sure know a great deal about you, Reese. Who do you think was having this conversation? I mean, it could, so I've been having issues with my girlfriend, so. I mean, oh, so you we're think? Not, we're not together, but she's, right. she's my girlfriend. You know what I mean? Gotcha, um, one of those like, ex-flings. Yeah, well, okay. she's a baby mom. You know, we the, the baby mama. The baby mama so you had some baby mama um, drama, okay. And she's been out for me honestly i don't even get to see okay. my kids very often okay um so she's going on these apps posing as you talking I'm, to 13 year old girls and sending pictures of your penis i would uh, that's, that's the only person who's got my nudes truthfully the amount of bull that was spewing from reese's mouth as i was talking to him was so much that it was it was humorous you know it, it was hard for me to hold back from laughing in his face because it was just Everything he was saying was just so ridiculous. I mean, I, I really, I couldn't believe what I was hearing. Those oh, so you don't, so you don't have them, then you I, don't send them out. Obviously, I have my new. Right, of but course, but but you're saying you didn't send them, and it was most not. so it was most likely your baby mama. I, I mean, that's the only person that I can think of. Okay, unless why don't we give her a call and ask her about this? Because I just want to know. She's at work right now. Well, I'm, this is illegal. Has the kids. Yeah, you should call her, Reese, because this is illegal, and you could end up going to jail tonight for something like this. Jesus so, Christ. if it's a mix-up, we have to get it straight. Yeah. And if it's her doing it, she needs to be. Then she needs to be. We need to talk to her if it's her well, doing well, it. Well, she she lives in Ohio. So what does that have to do with you calling her? Well, I'm saying like, in order for her to get like, would you okay. guys send somebody to yeah. Ohio to? Yeah, absolutely, do this? absolutely. But we need to. I think we need to get her on the phone and make sure that it's not. That it's a mix-up and it's, it wasn't you sending this stuff because you're saying it wasn't you. Yeah. So yeah, let's. If you can give her a call, put it on speaker for us. You sure you don't want to take a seat? Yeah, I'm good. Okay, just making sure. Just... Yeah. You ask her if she's into older guys. You ask her if you can come over tonight. If you could put it on speaker so we can verify. Of course. And your baby mama's name is Mackenzie. Mackenzie. Okay. <clears throat> Ask her what she wants to get into. A call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging Well, since she didn't answer, Reese, the only conclusion I can make is that it was you sending these messages. No, because I, can, I, can, I mean, I can completely understand where you guys are, where you're coming from. Yeah, because you're because you're here. Of, I mean, obviously so that makes sense. And but whoever was talking in the hello? conversation. Huh? Oh, is she there? Hey. So I have what? What's your name? I'm Skeet Hansen, the I predatorial have Skeet Hansen with investigation. Predatorial unit. investigation unit. Yeah. Um, yeah, he's got, uh, I guess, pictures and messages of me sending nudes to a supposed 13-year-old. Yes. Conversations. Things to anybody recently. What the? F Why would what's I do up? that? She said, "Have I, I sent anything anybody. to anybody?" No. They might have. Why? That's what I'm saying. Have you sent anything to anyone? Recently? No. You are the only person I have sent things to, Mackenzie. And we do have pictures of so his. Well, I have no f 
idea Ma'am, I... you need to tell me. It's one thing to be in this store trying to meet a 13 year old girl after you sent all these pictures and all these messages, but then you're just gonna throw the mother of your children under the bus and, and blame this whole thing on her? I mean, Reese, where's the accountability? You're caught in 4K. Stop f***ing lying. What the f***? Well, ma'am, I can explain here. Um, it looks like what I have here is a sexually charged conversation that Reese is having with a 13-year-old girl. Uh, he did send pictures of his penis to her, and he is here in the Walmart in Canton, Michigan on Ford Road to meet her. And he is saying that you possibly set him up in this way. Um, is that true? No. I have not even heard from him all day. Okay, so you don't have any recollection of um, anything to do with Reese and a 13-year-old girl? No, but if I seen the picture, I would be able to verify if it was his or not. Okay, I, I dude, already verified it's mine, so that's yeah, it's not definitely a problem. yeah. He verified it's his. I literally so have we've no that much. clue where this came and from, Mackenzie. It's whoever you sent it to, Reese, because obviously it wasn't me. So whoever you sent it to is doing this to you. I have only but, sent pictures to you. Well, my question is, if someone was who doing. Are who are you meeting at Walmart then, right, right now? Nobody. Hey. I'm just. I'm here looking around for stuff for the girls. Shoes, Crocs, well, Laurel, a pair of Crocs. How did if Reese wasn't having this conversation? How did we know he would be here? Um, if Reese was set up and he wasn't having this conversation, um, how did we know he would be at Walmart? That's exactly, I agree with that. So it must have been him, right? One. Doesn't that add up? It being him, having the conversation. It's been going on for some time this, too, ma'am. This is ridiculous. And you say that you miss her. And it just goes on, Reese. I'm, I understand what you're saying, yeah. sir. I'm looking at exactly okay. what you're looking at. Well, do, do you have the Kick app on your phone? I, I mean, I do, but I don't, do. I don't use it. Oh, can you open it up and show me that? Um, uh, of course. The, everything, yeah. everything that you're gonna, yeah. everything that you're seeing right here is obviously gonna be on my phone. On your phone? It's, it's on an app. Sir. But it's not. But you're saying it's not you. But it's on your phone. It's on an, it's an app. Everything saves to an app. That's not true, Reese. It is true. So you're saying someone else was logged in to your Kick and sending these messages. They have to, Mackenzie, I didn't send anything. I don't know why you're saying no. Can you put her back on speaker? Just wait. You don't have yeah. any pictures supposedly mm. saved of your penis, so why would they be on this app then? They're on my, wow, they're, wow. because the pictures I take, I take them on my camera to send to you. No. Yes, I did. You sent me and we have Snapchat, live Snapchat pictures. See these, these penis pictures of the, yeah, you don't, you been hanging out of your pictures. American Eagle briefs that was sent live. So that could have only been sent by you really? I mean, this was a live picture. But what I'm sent saying, live I, on Snapchat. But I never sent any of these messages. Okay. Or any of these pictures. This so is, you're saying someone else sent them? Hackers. As somebody hackers, has gotten but, into my account. They have okay. to have been. So nobody has your account information, Ray. So you've been on Snapchat recently. Right, but just because I'm on Snapchat doesn't mean that any nobody has my information. Well, I'm talking about the kick stuff. You do realize, Reese, you do realize when someone logs into an account on the kick app, it then deletes all of the prior messages. I so, honestly, I have no idea. So, okay, I, I don't, well, if I don't use it very often, since that theory is true, if you open up your kick app, then these messages shouldn't be on your app well, if they, it's not they, you. They're gonna be. It I don't, doesn't I make have, sense, Reese. It's a known fact that when you log into a kick account. All the messages are deleted, all the prior messages. So if you open your Kick account and these messages are here, then it was you. But it, it wasn't. So do you want to sh do you want to show me your Kick account though? I, just show me they're, that the messages aren't there. They're I, they're probably they're probably there. there. So that means that it was you. It would be uh, Becca, I believe. How many people do you talk to on Kick, Reese? I'm I'm part of a bunch of groups. Bunch of groups. Okay. And you Let's told me you were not talking to anybody sexually in any... Oh, ma'am, this is... Sexual is an understatement. We have, you know, full-blown penis pictures and everything here. You know what, Reese? That's a you problem to figure out because you are... You oh, Reese, we, we, we didn't finish going through it. I think it may be very deep in the messages. Because at what point did you start talking to her on Snapchat? I have no idea. I don't, I don't know. Okay. You don't remember when you started talking to her on Snapchat? I don't know any, I don't know any of this, sir. Hmm. You sure, Reese? Yes. Hmm. Interesting. You say, I almost sent you news this morning because I woke up with a heart on. Almost, but you, at some point you ended up sending them to her. 
so Reese, what, what was your plan here today, if you want to be straight up with me? Because you're obviously caught. We know this was you having this conversation. I, all right, so look, I who I don't know, I like I've been talking if, to somebody. If but your I baby never, mama didn't, I have never do talked it, then to who anybody did? who was 13 years old. I don't understand this shit. You don't understand? Uh, I mean, I don't see how you couldn't, Reese. It's blatant that the girl tells you she's 13. You send this picture too. You say sweats and a t-shirt for easy access. And what are you wearing? Sweats? Oh, not a t-shirt. Are you are you wearing this t-shirt underneath or? I am. You are wearing this t-shirt underneath. Yeah, that was sent to my cousin. That was sent today. The, yeah, yeah, the that shirt and that uh, that was on my couch. I sent it to my cousin. When did you send it, Reese? Earlier today. Reese, come on. Just be straight up with me. What, like, you sent I, what, this. Okay, but what? Like, I don't understand. What, you like, sent this I really live. Don't understand what's going on? You sent this live on Snapchat. What, like, what's going to happen to a thirteen-year-old girl? That's all I need that's to know. That's not up. Gonna, that's not up I to me it's to not decide. Up to you, but what do we need to do here to, to get this resolved? Because I have no idea. We need to where figure out. We need to figure out from. who sent these messages. I understand that, and I okay. have no idea. Now, Reese, since this was sent live on Snapchat, I mean, Reese, you're wearing literally the same thing in this picture that you're wearing now. Yeah, I hear you. And you're here. Yes. Yeah. This isn't you sending the messages. No. But you're here. Yes. So what are you doing here then? I was looking at kids' clothes. Kids' clothes. I mean, I mean that, that adds up. My, for my children. For yeah. your children. Yeah. Okay. Why this Walmart? I... You couldn't have stopped at any of the other 10 Walmarts on the way from White Lake to Canton? in your hour drive? Well, the two Walmarts in my, um, what, how long? Uh, it's roughly an hour from here, I believe, right? White Lake? No, that's like a half an hour. Half, well, okay, well, so either way, half hour. You, you passed a few Walmarts for sure. I, right? I've passed, I passed two, and the Walmarts that okay. I went to, all the Walmarts in my area within like a 12 mile radius, 10 mile radius, didn't have the Crocs that my daughter's looking for. They're purple oh. and blue. They must have been some really <clears throat> special Crocs. They're the ones- Do they have them they here? They don't even have them here. Oh, they don't? They have no Crocs here okay. at all. So you were gonna just keep going to different Walmarts until you found the right Crocs? And, and anything, anything else that the girls else. would need. Uh, bathing I mean, suits, they need new bathing suit. And it also. just, it just has to be this Walmart. Well, I came here for Crocs. Oh, you were just going to random different Walmarts until you found the one that had what you wanted in stock. How many Walmarts have you been to today? Today, yeah, I went. Well, I, I checked the White Lake Walmart and the one okay. in Commerce. Okay, two I Walmarts. Find them. And then I okay. decided I was going to come here. I was at the other. I don't. I can't. I'm not really from here. I've only been here for like a year in right. Michigan, so I don't really know the areas like that. Yeah, and you don't know this um, area either, really. So right? I know. I just fucking. I just looked it up and. Yeah, you just like, you yeah. know looked up the address that the 13 year old girl sent you, and you came here to meet her. 13 year old. I didn't know she was 13. I didn't know anybody was 13. I told you I was talking to somebody, but I, nobody it was how, under the assumption that anybody was 13. How old did she tell you she was then? I don't, I've never even heard an age. So what was the, what was her name that you're here to meet? Of the person that you're here to meet today? Rebecca. Rebecca, right. And Rebecca is 13. I didn't know that. She, I got her thing on a Facebook you, dating app. You acknowledged. Now, it said she was you, 18. You acknowledged it. You found her in a, kip ch in a kick chat room. You acknowledged that she's 13. You said, literally, Reese, right here. I guess I had to go through it again. I'm 13. Nice to meet you. And you say, oh, okay. Wasn't expecting you to be that young. And then you say nothing illegal about being friends. Now, why would you mention anything about something being illegal if you didn't acknowledge that she was 13? Some of these messages are I have seen. Some of these messages I have not sent. You've I seen swear some. To God. Yes. So you've seen some of them prior to today. Yes, but some of these fucking sexual messages, no, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Not the sexual messages, but just the the regular chit chat messages you you know about. Okay. So, what was your plan when you? Didn't find the cracks you were looking for in this Walmart where you just gonna go to another Walmart and just keep going to different Walmarts until you found the right one? Till about like maybe 10. Maybe 10. I'm searching for What time did you start? I, I, honestly, I didn't really start at a specific time. It's not like I started, went to Walmart. Well, it sounds like you're in a scavenger hunt for right, some specific crocs. I didn't go crocs, to like Walmart, so. Walmart, Walmart, Walmart. Well, what, yeah, according to your story, that's what you're doing. You went to two Walmarts, this is your third one tonight, right? Not right after another. Oh, just not right, oh, okay. But either way, you've been out 
at various Walmarts tonight looking for these Crocs. Why not just order them online at that point? I'm not a fan of putting my credit card information online at oh, all. Oh, but you'll put your for but you'll put your reason. But you'll put your penis information online. Through to my girlfriend, yes. To a thirteen year old girl. Nobody sent anything to a thirteen year old girl. I didn't nobody knew I don't know Reese. The chick I was talking to, I didn't know she was thirteen. That's what I'm trying to say. Interesting. Can I, can I ask a question? I'm, I'm curious. So, if, if you say you've seen some of the messages before, but you didn't send them, right? So, if somebody's sending sexually charged messages to a minor, why not just delete your account? Instead well, of well it I never, I didn't see any of the sexual messages. That's what I'm oh. saying. But you saw that. You saw that no, someone was I told talking. You I've seen some of the messages, not any of the sexual messages. I said that already. Okay, <laughs> but you knew that they were talking to a 13-year-old girl. Yeah. So why not just? That situation Honestly, I, I just, I didn't even think about it. It's not okay. like I, you know, I l went through and looked at each message yeah. and read it and analyzed gotcha. everything. Okay. So just so we're straight it's here. It's kind of just like when I was scrolling through it, yeah. you know, I glanced, I guess, or, you know. Okay. So just so we're straight here, it wasn't your baby mama sending the messages like we initially thought. Well, right? we don't know that. We don't know that, but Absolutely. we just got around the phone and it seemed like she really knew what was going on. I mean, people have good poker faces. Not that oh. she's right in person. Oh, right. So you can't okay. really, obviously. Yeah. Not, I'm not saying like her in person and uh -huh. lie. Like people can lie. That's what I'm trying to sure. get at. You know what I mean? Sure. And. Just like you're lying right now. Absolutely not. No way. Really, Reese? How, how long are we going to go in the circle? So if it wasn't your baby mama, then who, who was it? I. I have no idea. Just no idea. Just, I have literally have no idea. So just someone out there has, you know, all your information, knows just about everything about you, previous work experience, all that, and they just. Well, uh, I mean, my. What clothes my, you're wearing exactly? What clothes you're previous, wearing today? Like my previous, all that. Shit, like a lot of my information is on Facebook. A lot of people's okay. information is on Facebook. Right, and same hat as in this picture. Um, just what I'm stuck on, Reese, is the fact that this was sent live today, and you're wearing the exact same thing. And who's, whoever sent this was coming here to meet a 13-year-old girl. And you're wearing a, a Rugrat shirt. I mean, that just, that makes it even worse. That, like I said, I, the only person that I sent that picture to was my cousin, Caleb. Uh, and when did you send it to Caleb? Can you show us Why'd you, so you sent this picture and wrote the quote, just some sweats and a t-shirt for easy access. You sent that to your cousin, Caleb. I didn't, I sent the picture. So where'd the text come from? I have no idea. So did Caleb send this to, uh, is, is it Caleb then? I highly doubt that. No. Nothing that Reese was saying was making any sense whatsoever. I mean, from the fact that he was there just to buy Crocs at this Walmart when he passed five uh, Walmarts on his way here to the whole thing with his baby mama setting him up to, uh, you know, someone hacking his Snapchat account and him sending a picture to his cousin and, uh, you know, him having a hacker friend. I mean, just nothing made any sense. It was time for Reese to cut the bullshit, you know? It, it, was, it was just getting ridiculous at this point. I mean, come on. Okay, how old is Caleb? 20. Do you want to give him a call and just so we have verification of that that you sent it to him today? Cause like we gotta get to the bottom of this, Reese. I, 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 have, I completely understand. I, I, under, I understand. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. And this is illegal. So. It is. And I, I know for a fact that my cousin wouldn't send some shit like that. Okay. Or like send it to But I just wanna somebody. verify that you sent this to your cousin today. And, and like, I, I don't understand. What do we need to get to the bottom of? Because I need-, Be, I need The to... bottom of you lying, because if we call him right now and he picks up and he says that he didn't receive a picture, this picture from you today, then we know you're lying. So why don't we just clear it up? Just give Caleb a call and ask him if you sent this picture to him today. Okay, so Caleb, didn't, did he just text you? He's on the can. <laughs> That's what he just said. 
Yeah, I just want to know uh, if I could hear from Caleb himself that he sent you this picture today. That would clear everything. Up. It would. It would clear. It wouldn't clear everything up, but it would clear. I mean, Reese is still here, so it would clear a good chunk of things up. Well, of course. Yeah. Since you sent it to him on Snapchat, do you have the uh, the conversation with him on Snapchat? Yeah, I don't. I don't have any conversations. But you sent it to him today. Yeah. But you don't have the his the chat history. Why not? I don't have really any chat history. Why not? Do you just delete it right after you send things? I don't. I don't really. I'm not a big fan of Snapchat. I get on okay. it every once in a while. You seem to be a pretty big fan. You were on it uh, today. Okay, so you just, uh, and you just blocked her. Ooh. Got it. Uh, the 13 year old girl. I didn't block anybody. I've, you've seen me sitting Oh, yeah, right yeah, you here. did, because she's tried to, uh, she tried to call you. And, I've uh, been looks like you blocked right her. Here with you. Yeah, and you blocked her at some point. On Snapchat. How is that even possible? I just pulled my phone out to call my cousin. Uh, at some point, with whatever you were doing, you, you blocked her. Or it, maybe it was before, uh, maybe it was before you got in here. Either way, Reese, no, nothing about your story is really making a lot of sense. And we didn't even go through, you know, the kick uh, conversations. You know, we're still gonna see that. What's the date of the last uh, kick conversation? The last kick message? It was like today, because I'm in some groups. And well, stuff. I want to know the the one with Becca, the one with Rebecca. It's probably a while ago, right? Back in uh, maybe earlier this year. These are all empty because these are. Okay. Early. Okay, so you must like have. These uh, aren't, none of these are. Gotcha. You must have signed out of uh, your Kick account then, or something. Oh, and what's your what's your kick, your Kick name, profile? Yeah, Bree C G. Yeah, everything uh everything adds up on my end, Reese. Um, I, I mean, I can, I can, I I know what you're saying. Yeah. I do. You, you get I, why? But there's why it adds up, on right? My kick at all? So I'm not I'm not like understanding what's where this is but, coming from. Reese, how did we know you would be here? I have no idea. Make it make sense. There's got to be some I'm reason. I'm trying this, to make it make sense. This sort of thing is, this doesn't just happen as coincidence, you know? I I know. I, there's there's something else other than what's going on, going on. We got to we gotta get to the bottom we of it, Reese. absolutely Reece. fucking do. Absolutely. You know, definitely got to get to the bottom of it. Um, because, you know, this is a legal activity. And um, I see guys, you know, go away and do time for this all the time. Dangerous activity. Is there June any chance that, like, I can just go use the bathroom real quick, man? Uh, like, you can hold my fucking phone. And yeah, if you, if you gotta, I mean, if you gotta use the bathroom, I, I can't I stop you. I don't want you guys to think I'm trying to run away from what we're doing here. Well, I mean, you're probably gonna go in the bathroom and delete a lot of things off your phone. I'm sure I'll that's leave, probably... You guys, like I said, you can walk with me. I'll leave my phone right outside the bathroom. I'll use the bathroom. I just gotta piss. Enough bullshit is enough bullshit. It was time to get the Canton Police Department over there to address the situation. Um, or Reese, I think, you know, we should probably just, you know, wait a little bit longer because I think uh, you have some questions to answer from Canton Police Department. Okay. Okay. And what I had to let you know is that I'm Skeet Hanson with the Predatorial Investigation Unit and uh, we're doing an online series about adults who try to meet up with underage teens online for sex. and. You just been skeeted. You know, if there's anything else you have to say, you know, we'd love to hear it. If not, then you know you can have a word with these gentlemen. Do you have your ID, sir? I do. Thank you. Your uh, partner over there said that you got some paperwork. I do, absolutely, sir. Um, yeah, a couple of pictures of him, and then I do have a. Uh, you know, the full chat log of the uh, kick conversation that he was having online with a girl that told him, uh, you know, she was 13. So you can see right there, she does say, nice to meet you, I'm 13. And he says, wasn't expecting you to be that young. And he says, there's nothing illegal about being friends. And um, he talks about, you know, coming over, visiting her. Some of these messages are from me. And he says they're not from him, but you know, he, he's here, so. And uh, he talks about how you know how horny he is, and asks what she wants to you know get into. And um, you know, at some point, we do have um, you know messages of um, you know pictures he sent of uh, you know his his penis right there, as you can see, to a you know, girl that told me he's thirteen. Do you have a copy 17. of that that I can have? Yeah, yeah, you can take all this. We got uh, plenty of copies of these babies at the office. So if you uh, take the 
Oops. Don't want to forget the penis pictures. Here we go. Thank you. Yes, sir. Yeah, so he says that he's just here shopping. He's been to a few different Walmarts, and um, it's just a sheer coincidence that we found him here, even though who uh, the decoy is talking to in the app said lines to up with your lines up with the story, yeah, that he would be in this Walmart. Okay. All right, uh, Mr. You're not under arrest right now, but if you want, we can walk you out of the store. All right. Very good. We'll uh, send it to our detectives, and okay. they'll check it out from there. Appreciate All right, appreciate you, you, sir. Yep, appreciate you guys. Take it easy. Have a good one. Oh, there you there. Well, that was the, you know, short, shameful story of uh, of Reese. Too bad. I, I wish you would have had to see. That would have been great. Um, you know. No, no, I think I'm good. I, I would like to apologize on good. behalf of all the security officers that I don't have any chicken nuggets to give you. Yeah, that's unfortunate. We should have uh, should have had him pick up something. Maybe next time. As long as it's not Haram. As long as it's not Haram, that's all that matters. But um, yeah, Reese is um, outside, you know, talking to the police. We're gonna send the detectives all the information we have, and um, that's gonna be a cut, boys and girls. Uh, let's go get fucking drunk. Get your hands in, man. Mm -hmm. yes, have a good one. Have a good one. Thank uh, you. A long, long, shameful predator walk of shame. You hate to see it. Something's gotta be long around here. Something. I'm sure it wasn't Reese's penis. I mean, that shit was, you know, subpar at best. So the Canton Police Department comes over to address the situation. I show the kind officer all the messages and the, you know, screenshots that I have on Reese, including his penis pictures, of course. Can't forget those. Reese was, you know, let go, of course, because they had to do their own investigation. And um, that's uh, pretty much where we're at with it. But the big question here is, will Reese ever learn to, one, stop trying to meet up with 13 year old girls online, and two, to just stop lying? It's just, you know, he, he's a terrible liar. You know, if you're gonna do something, pick something that you're good at, you know? Not lying, lying is not it for Reese. Even if nothing ultimately happens to Reese, I just hope that I could teach him, you know, a valuable lesson. You know, I really do. I really hope to not see him in any more of these chat rooms trying to talk up 13 year old girls. Because we all know it was him and not his baby mama, okay? Um, yeah, I just, I just hope he can learn from it. And of course, we all know that there are more predators out there just like Reese. And if they happen to fall into our investigation, they will be discovered and they will ultimately get skeeted in 4K, just as Reese did on this night.